and yes this is easy but you definitely need to you know take your time honey concentrate okay you don't want to be coming out looking crazy what's up welcome back to mina's daily dose my name is mina thank you for joining me today if you are new here thank you for clicking on this video and if you are already part of the fam hello how are you thank you for your continued support so before we get into the video i just want to say hello to all of my new subscribers thank you for choosing me as a youtuber you want to watch trust me i do not disappoint okay so today i'm coming back to you guys with another makeup look i have definitely been in the makeup mood and i'm so excited to finally be getting back into the flow of doing makeup you know i am going for a really pretty blown out colorful look i really don't know what i'm going to do i just know i want to use some vibrant colors because i am a vibrant person so let's go ahead and jump right into the video and once again i am filming with natural light if this is your first time watching any of my videos or makeup videos in particular i like to film with natural light because i just believe it gives the best color payoff okay so you may see the light come in and out honey it's just the sun <laughs> it's just the sun i'm going to go into this beauty treats palette it has so many pretty colors in here or if you guys would like to see how i do my base then please like this video comment let me know so that i can do a video on my base and how i do it because literally every time i do my base it's kind of different but it's still like you know the same kind of techniques okay first i want to start off with of course a transition color and today i'm just going to be using a face powder and this is a becca cosmetics face powder and this is in the color bamboo so it's just like a basic powder and it's really close to my skin tone so i'm just doing a basic color first because i just want my colors to blend very very nicely for my second transition color i'm going to be going to that beauty trees palette and i am going to go in with this pink color right here which you can barely tell but it's just a nice baby pink and it's very 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 light so you're really not going to see much but it's just something to blend the next color into because our next color is going to be pink, like a pink pink. So I don't want it to be too harsh. So now it's time to start placing color and blending for our lives. So I'm going to go in with a brush that's a little bit more dense and short so it can fit right into that crease. And we are going to be going in with this pink shade right here which is definitely a bright pink okay and I, as I'm placing it down I am blending it outward and I'm covering my whole entire crease with this color so from the inner to the outer. And you want to take your time with these colors, honey, okay? Because you don't want to place too much and then, honey, you're looking crazy. So build up, okay? Eye makeup is definitely a test of patience. Then I'm just going to go back into that first brush that I had and we are going to blend over that just to make sure it's nice and smooth. So now it's time for the lid color. And you guys, I love this palette better as an eyeshadow palette rather than a glow kit. So I'm going to my Aurora palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, honey the whole entire lid I'm going to go in with Lyra which is one of my favorite shades out of the palette I think it just goes so well with brown skin so I'm just going to place that all over the lid 
and I'm just first going to pack that on. And then I'm gonna show you guys just an easy way to do a cut crease. So I'm just going to pack that on and just kind of start mapping where I want cut crease to go. Now I have hooded lids, so my cut crease really, it's hard, it's gonna be hard to see, but you know. So you just want to pack the shadow on in just a rainbow fashion. And this is just an easy way to do a cut crease. And I'm gonna say it's very important to have like an oval kind of shape brush. So this is the brush that I'm using right here. And honey, this is an elf brush. So you don't need anything crazy to do your eyeshadow, okay? Especially the technique that I'm doing right now. So I just showed you another technique. You can just place the eyeshadow down and just slide it in a rainbow fashion. And you see how that just cut the crease just like that? It's so easy. Then once you have that mapped out, you can just pack on the color. And if you have hooded lids like I do, you want to kind of tilt your head back while you're doing your cut crease so you can really see where you want to cut it. And you also have to over exaggerate your cut crease so that you can actually see it. <laughs> okay. To intensify that color, I'm just going to wet my brush and I'm just using some rose water from the beauty supply, honey. You can use water. <laughs> okay. You can use water. You don't have to use rose water. You can use whichever type of liquid that you like and I'm just going to go back into that color and we are going to start placing this down And you just see how that intensified the entire eyeshadow look. And I'm not going to carry that too far out because we are going to be blending that out. Don't really too worried about the outside corner of the wig. And yes, this is easy, but you definitely need to, you know, take your time, honey. Concentrate, okay? You don't want to be coming out looking crazy. Now it's time to blend out the outer corners and really make this look come together. So in the outer corner, I want to incorporate some more colors. So yes, I'm going back into the Modern Matte Palette and we are actually going to be going in to this orange color right here. I'm just going to tap it in the outer corner. So I'm not really blending, but I'm just tapping it in the outer corner. Now I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and I'm just going to concentrate just that color a little bit more on the outer crease.
And while I'm doing that, I'm also blending it into that Lyra color as well. That first blending brush, and we're just going to blend everything together and blend it out. Now it's time to move on to the lower lash line. I really don't like to do much with the lower lash line, you know. I mean, you know, just a little simple color, you know. But I'm going to go in with this red tone right here. I'm going to go on the lower lash line with that because it's pretty much like the orange and the pink mixed together. So it just saves me time. I am not going to be putting on lashes because when I do looks like this, I really want the eyes to be showcased and I don't want them to be blocked by lashes. So I'm just going to go in with my favorite mascara. Sorry that the camera angle had to change very abruptly and I definitely love this look. So thank you for joining me today. And please don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends, your family, and your associates. And don't forget to subscribe and join the MBB family. We are growing here, <laughs> okay? We are becoming a family, okay? So if you want to join the MBB family, please hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to miss a video from me, hit that bell so you will not miss a video. You will get notifications, okay, when your girl posts, okay? I try to post three days a week. If it's not Monday, Wednesday, Friday, it's usually going to be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Maybe sometimes Sunday, sometimes I may slide a little extra video in there. But to get updates and to also be notified of when I'm going to post a video, follow me on Instagram at Mina's Daily Dose, okay? That is where I give everybody a heads up about my videos that are being posted. Smooch and boost, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!